Good evening, everybody. Uh, time to do the next video in the JMRI series. So what we're going to do this evening is enter locomotives. And entering locomotives is pretty similar to entering um, your cars. So hopefully uh, this won't be too new to you what's gonna happen. So let's get started right away. The first thing we're gonna do is open up our um, JMRI menu and let's make sure that I am sharing my screen. Uh, I am sharing my screen, so that's good. <laughs> All right, so here's the JMRI menu opening up. Uh, once again, we're going to go up to operations and this time we're going to go to locomotives. Okay, and as you can see, my menu is completely empty. So just want to show you, before we start there, I'm going to go back to operations and to cars and show you what I've been doing. So as you notice uh, here, I've got a lot of cars entered now, um, and I'm setting their locations. So this is one thing you want to go back and do after you have your cars entered. And this is one reason that you uh, add your track and locations first is so you can go in and edit and enter the location and the track that your um, that your cars happen to be. And this will this will give you a good start to the program so the program can know the locations where they are. Uh, also, what will happen is because of the length you've put in of each car. JMRI is going to tell you when you have too many cars in one location. It won't let you, uh, without a warning, put uh, more cars in a, on a certain track than you've said, uh, than you've defined the length of. All right. So make sure once you get your cars entered that you go back and set the location and the track. All right, I'm going to close that. Um, I'm going to close that screen. And so let's just uh, run over to the locomotive menu. All right. So what we're going to do, I've got zero in here. We're going to just start by clicking the add button down at the bottom. And all of my locomotives except for one is KCS. So this is going to be easy. <laughs> So I'm going to put in the road number. I'll start with one of my uh, uh, I'll start with one of my bicentennial units here, uh, and it's six one six. So I'll put in the road number, the model. Uh, it is an SD forty. So I just got to go down till I find that, and it's not in the list. That's a good thing. So that means I can add it. So I'm going to edit the model, and I'm going to put in here SD40 and add. And while I'm here, since it's not in here, I'm going to do the uh, dash two as well. So I'm going to click the add again. Now when I go back to my list, I can choose uh, the models that I've added. There's my SD40, 616 is an SD40. Diesel, of course, you have your gas turbine, steam, electric, etc. but all minor diesel. So that's gonna be, uh, <clears throat> that's gonna be easy link. So let's measure the length of this. Uh, it looks like it is eight, I'm just gonna say nine inches. Uh, it's close to nine inches. And if you add in the coupler length, you're going to be you're going to be right there. So let me get that out of the way. I'm going to go to my calculator, figure out what nine inches is. Nine times our scale, eighty-seven point one equals that. Divide by twelve to get feet. Whoops, I did something wrong. <laughs> nine times eight seven point one equals okay 
divide by 12 equals 65 feet. Okay. All right, so I'm going to put in 65 location. Where do I want to put it? Um, I am going to put it in Alexandria Yard, of course, but I am going to put it on my diesel facility east. Okay. So if you remember, this is north. So the track on the um, outside wall is my west track and my diesel facility track on the inside is, is the east track. So that's where I'm going to put it. Uh, I've got a lot of things sitting there right now. So I'm just going to, what I'm going to do is move them out of the way to make room. So I'll just sit him over there. That way I know exactly where it's located. Uh, click add locomotive. Um, can't set KCS 616 location due to type and diesel. Okay. So I did something wrong, obviously. <laughs> so let's go back and look. Let's just close this and go back and look what I did wrong. So I'm going to go back to uh, my locations. Alexandria Yard. Edit it. So what did I say for my diesel facility? Aha, I have cleared them for some reason. Some reason it just says hopper. I don't know why, but we're going to remedy that right now. Um, I don't even have the option here to put in. So what I'm going to do, hey, that's very strange that this happened. So I'm going to go into the main window of Alexandria Yard, click diesel. Okay. And then click save. All right. So now I should be able to go to my diesel facility. And there you go. There's diesel right there. So I can check it. Save yard track. Yes. And I'm going to do the same for my diesel facility west. Um, I don't know how that uh, got unchecked, but anyway, hopefully it's not a bug in the program. So, all right, so now my diesel facilities can accept diesel locomotives. All right, so let's click my locations, shut those down. Let's go back to adding now. So it's, uh, let me stretch the screen out a little bit. Edit diesel facility. I can click save with no problems now. Good. Okay. Well, you can see you can run into problems when you're doing this. Um, let's go ahead and add uh, deep 30. Okay. This is going to be... 4109. Uh, I haven't put the cab numbers on it yet, but I'm going to. So that's going to be 4109. All right, I'm just going to go back down here to add uh, KCS, of course, 4109. Let's see, Jeep 30 is already in the menu. Good, diesel. Uh, once again, I'm Alexandria Yard, and I'm going to put it on that same track, the uh, uh, I, I take it back. Let's put it on the west track, okay? Add locomotive. Oh, forgot to, uh, the length automatically came up for this one, but let me check just to make sure that they've got it correct. Okay, so I've got seven and a half inches here. So 
7.5 times 87.1, our scale, and then divide that by 12 to get feet. So 54. Um, I can do that. I can leave it at 56. I think I'll just leave it there. All right. So I've said it's on the west track, which is my far track. So I'm going to set that over there. And there we go. So you'll notice there's some other uh, defaults in here that you can fill in if you wish. Uh, what's the weight, the horsepower? Um, if you add it to a consist, uh, you can do that. I I haven't. Uh, I've got a consist right now, but I don't want to. I don't want to add any of my engines to a consist in JMRI just yet. I'm going to be doing that, so we'll come back to that at some point later on. Uh, you, you know, if it's a leased engine, you can say the owner. Um, and put a comment in if you wish. I, I think comments will be good to um, maybe denote what type of horn it has, or for me at least, or, you know, what's the prime mover, something like that. Uh, that would be the kind of comments I would put in. All right, save, and that's good. Now let's look at something a little different. Here's, a, uh, here's an F7B unit. Okay, let me get in the camera. So I'm going to take this B unit, and it's getting dusty, <laughs> and we're going to add it. So once again, KCS, road number. This one happens to be uh, 59C, because that's how KCS had their uh, B units still numbered in the 70s. Um, what had happened originally is KCS had um, KCS had numbered their A and B units the same, just putting an A, B, C, or D after them. And I forget which was, I know the A, <laughs> the ones with an A after it were always A units, and I think the Ds were always A units, and then the Bs and the Cs were B units. But I have to check on that to make sure. But what can happen, uh, what happened is things were getting confused on train orders because uh, KCS had, uh, you know, if they did an extra, the extra was always a locomotive number. And so there was, I remember, uh, there was one point where they had two of the same number because you had an an and two A units with the same number, just a different letter afterwards. So they started changing all their numbers after that happened. Uh, but they left the B units. Okay, they left the B units uh, just with the with the same with the C's after it or the B's after it. Right. So the model is an F7 diesel, and notice there's a box here that says B unit. So I just checked the B unit box. And it says length is 50 feet. I'm going to just check them just to make sure the first few times. So I've got six and three quarters. Uh, 6.75 times our scale divided by 12 to get feet. That's pretty close. It's uh, 49 feet. The length here says 50. I'm actually going to just leave it at 50. Okay. It's going to an Alexandria yard and it will go on diesel facility track west. So, here on the west track. Along with, along with too many things I have sitting over here now. Okay, so there's that uh, that B unit on the west track. All right, let's just add one more. Let's add a uh, let's add a switcher this time. 
Okay, so I have switcher here number 4309. This is an SW7. And I'm just going to put that in. Oh, first I have to, for this D unit, I have to add locomotive. All right. All right, so road number, and I can go back. Once I click add locomotive and save, I can just keep inputting. I don't have to close this window that's open. 4309. This is an SW7. Let's see if they have it in here. They do not have it in here. Good. So I can, I have to add another one. Add. There we go. Now it's in my list. Okay, diesel. Uh, this is not a B unit, obviously. <laughs> uh length let's see what the length on this is so this is five and uh three quarters it's actually five and seven eighths so i'm just gonna do get it a little closer I'm going to do 5.8 uh, times my 87.1. So we end up with 42 feet. Let's see if we've got 42 in there. Yes, already we've got 42. Good. Uh, where do I want to put it? I am going to put it on the east track, I believe. So. So facility east, add locomotive, and say, there you go. So it's just as simple as that. That's all it takes to uh, add your locomotives into JMRI. Um, like I said, you can put a few more things. If you know the tonnage, if you know the horsepower, you can add that. Uh, if you're going to, uh, when you do consist we're gonna we're gonna start adding consist and uh like i said i'm gonna go back and show you that at a later point in time on another video because i don't want to add any of my uh locomotives to a consist at the moment all right okay that's it so your homework assignment if you're following along your homework assignment is to make sure all of your locations are added in, your entire fleet, your, your entire roster of, of cars, and also all of your locomotives. So that is that is the point we're at now. Once we have done that, and what's, what I'm going to do before I do the next video is I'm going to give, give you uh, several days to do that. And then we're going to come back in and start uh, doing the next, um, the next uh, part, which is routes. So the routes is uh, R, and if I just want to show you this real quick, add, uh, give the route a name, comment if you need it to. I can add a route here. Um, I'll give it the ID, the location, what train direction, the moves, uh, random pickup set outs, et cetera. So we'll go into that. We'll go into that next. But to get to that point, you have to have all your locations in. You have to have your, your entire roster of cars added, and you have to have uh, you have to have your locomotives all in as well. All right. So I'll give you, like I said, a, a few days to a week to do that. And then we'll go over, uh, we'll go over routing after that. All right. Y'all have a good evening.